Colorado hits a major milestone. The state announced in these 12 counties, at least 70% of adults received at least one dose of the coronavirus vaccine. That puts them ahead of President Biden's goal of having 70% of adults immunized by Independence Day. Tomorrow marks six months since the first COVID vaccine was approved by the FDA. Yeah, that happened back on December 11th. So we wanted to take an in-depth look at the progress made so far where you can still get a vaccine today. How many vaccinated Coloradans have still caught COVID? What's next for vaccine approvals for kids younger than 12 and how Colorado is helping in those trials? And starting with the latest on the president's vaccination goal, we did a little math on the vaccine numbers statewide. And according to the state health department right now, roughly 64% of all Colorado adults have at least one shot of the vaccine. That's pretty much right on with the national average. And the FDA is meeting today to talk about kids and the coronavirus vaccine. So we're looking at what's next for COVID vaccines for kids. Here's a timeline. It's been about four weeks since the Pfizer vaccine was given emergency approval for kids ages 12 to 15 and Moderna is expected to go before the FDA for approval for kids ages 12 to 17 on June 29th. Pfizer CEO has also said the company expects to ask for emergency use authorization for children ages 2 to 11 in September and no decisions are expected at today's FDA meeting. But a Colorado hospital is helping with the research on COVID vaccines for kids. Children's Hospital Colorado is one of the test sites for Pfizer's vaccine. And Denver 7's Eric Lufer continues our coverage this morning. Eric, we're getting more details from researchers on how they'll go about their study. And Brian, all this stemming from Pfizer's announcement that it was going to expand its clinical trials, trials rather, for children 5 to 11 years old. Medical doctors are calling this the final frontier. So here's what you need to know this morning. Children's Hospital playing a big role in this now. Pfizer's trial is focused on detecting the antibody response to the COVID-19 vaccine and verifying if a lower dosage produces enough immunity for this group. Children's Hospital sent us an interview with the lead researcher talking about the trial here. Initially, we'll be working with children 5 to 11 years of age. And subsequently, once the safety has been shown and that it produces an immune response in children, we will go down to younger children. It is for kids ages 5 to 11. Children in the study will get two vaccinations three weeks apart. Two thirds of kids will get the vaccine. One third will get a placebo. The kids and their families won't know which one they got until six months later. You can learn more on the website, childrenscolorado.org slash Pfizer vaccine trial, of course. As this trial expands across the nation, that's when we can expect that emergency authorization request to come from Pfizer. And we already said it could be as early as September. I'm Eric Lufer, Denver 7. Eric, thank you. Today, Governor Polis will announce the first five winners of Colorado's Comeback Cash Scholarship drawing. The state hopes this will push more kids 12 and older to get the vaccine. And MSU Denver is offering an incentive to encourage students to get the shot. Vaccinated undergraduates are eligible to win one of five scholarships. It will cover the cost of tuition up to $8,100 for the next academic year. And if you're looking for a place to get vaccinated, we checked and today Front Range Community College is hosting clinics at all three of its locations. The clinics are at the Boulder County campus, the Larimer campus and the Westminster campus from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. They're giving out the Pfizer vaccine, so anyone 12 and older is welcome. That includes students, employees, and the public. Also, you do not need an appointment for this. State officials did release new insight into how many vaccinated Coloradans are still getting sick with the virus. 0.1% of vaccinated Coloradans have experienced so-called breakthrough cases. That's about 3,000 people. More than 200 of them had to be hospitalized and 38 died. State leaders said while the numbers are alarming, they're also in line with what we know about the vaccine's effectiveness. We see vaccine breakthrough cases, and as we see more people who are vaccinated, we will see more cases who are vaccine breakthrough. The president is also expected to announce more details about his global vaccination plan today. That includes purchasing an additional 500 million doses of Pfizer's vaccine. Those doses would be distributed to lower income countries. 200 million doses would be delivered this year, the rest in the first half of 2022.